Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a Firebase function. For those that are new to Firebase function, Firebase function is a popular backend as a service platform that allows developers to create a serverless function in the cloud. It is the equivalent of Lambda for AWS or Amazon Web Services and Azure function in Microsoft Azure. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a Firebase function using JavaScript to handle HTTP requests. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm JJ, founder of Tech Therapy, the home for tech-related insights, reviews, and discussion. And if you are on hand for a powerful cloud service that allows you to create a serverless function with ease, and you want to try it for free, then you will love this video. So buckle up and get ready to take your development skills to a new heights with Firebase function. Before we start, Make sure that you have the following, a Google account to sign into Firebase console, a Firebase project, and a Node.js installed in your computer. So for the creation of Firebase project, I'm going to show you. So first we need to log in. So I'm going to log in using my account. And now I'm already logged in. So don't worry, creating an account in Firebase is free as long as you have a Google, a Google account. So let's click get started. And then now, this is my dashboard for the Firebase. I already have three projects. So in this tutorial, I will go to use this coaching app. We can create a new one or a new project by selecting this add project tile. However, in this tutorial, as I mentioned, I will just reuse my existing project, but don't worry, the steps that I will show you is both applicable if you are going to use an existing project or you will create a new one from scratch. And everything that we will create is still included in the free tier of or free quota of Firebase. Speaking of free quota, you have 2 million function call per month for free. So once you exceeded that quota, then that's the only time that you will be charged here in the Firebase function. So 2 million is a lot, especially if you're going to use this uh, Firebase to create your your very first function. So now let's click uh, existing project that I have. Then let's go to build and then select function. So this is my first time to create a function under this project and that is why showing me the default display which is the instruction and the description on how to use Firebase function. And if we click the how do I get started, then we will be redire redirected to the Google Cloud documentation. However, in this tutorial, we will not follow this documentation as, as what I am going to show you is more simpler and more straightforward. So to start, let's go to our laptop terminal. And then let's first run npm install dash g firebase dash dash tools what it will do it is is that it will install firebase cli the firebase cli will allow us to connect our terminal or our our terminal to our firebase console online so there's a typo there so I just rerun the same command npm install dash g firebase tools. Okay. After that, the next thing we need to run is let me clear the term my terminal first. The next thing we will do is we will create a folder. This is where our project will reside. So to create a folder, let's just type mkdir, which is will create our directory, and then let's name it coaching app. Oh, coaching app function functions. Let's hit enter. So let's see if coaching app is created. So coaching app function folder is created let's go inside that directory 
Now that we are inside the coaching app function directory, we need to initialize it as a Firebase function project. And to do that, so let's type Firebase init function. And then hit enter. As you can see, it is asking me if I should use an existing project, create a new project, add Firebase to an existing Google Cloud project, or don't set up a default project. So let's select use an existing project. So if this is your first time running the Firebase CLI, before you can get to this point, there's a login, but don't worry, the login is easy. It will just pop up a web browser for you to select the account that you will use to log in. And then that's it. In our case, for this one, let's select use an existing project. And then let's select the coaching app, which is our project. All right, now it's loading. It's now trying to initialize our folder and get connected to our Firebase project. The next thing is it will ask us to what language we will use to create these cloud functions. We have two options, JavaScript and TypeScript. Let's select JavaScript. And then the next question is, do you want to use ESLint to catch probable bugs and enforce style? Yes, I want my project to be to have an ESLint. Hit enter. And then, do you want to install dependencies with npm now? Selecting yes is equivalent to running the npm install in this uh, in your project using node. So let's type y and then hit enter. It will install the dependencies needed by our project. All right. Now, uh, it's done installing all the dependencies we need in our project. So let's open this coaching app function folder using any code editor. So in my case, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So now this is the coaching app function folder or project. And then here in the functions, we have this index.js. And this is the default or the initial content of this file. As you can see, there is an import for the Firebase function module. And then it's commented out. So if we uncomment it, what it will do is if we deploy it is it will just lag. First, the hello lags in the lag explorer of Google and then in our browser, it will respond a hello from Firebase. So let's save it and then it's now ready to be deployed to our Firebase console here. So as you can see, it's still empty. Nothing changed because our project is still in our local. So let's go back to our terminal. And to deploy this, let's just type Firebase deploy and that's it let's click enter so you will notice that my deployment failed saying that my project should be on the blaze as you go plan so to do this it's easy don't worry it, upgrading to blaze plan doesn't mean that you will be charged immediately this is uh, still under the free quota let's go that let's go back to our firebase console in the browser as you can see it is still under spark let's go to upgrade and then let's select blaze and select i will select my billing account let's click continue i will skip this step so if this is your first time setting up your billing account then 
you might need to you will be asked to enter your credit card details but don't worry it won't be charged anything as long as your usage is under the free quota so i'm just going to use purchase all right now we're on the pay as you go blaze plan let's close it and then now let's run the project again let's try to click build and then click functions and then hit refresh and there you go it's now showing our function with the name of hello world because that's the name of our function we put in the file and then this is the request so this is the url that we will call to that will return uh, hello world and let's copy it let's hover as you can see here it's the version one and there's no request yet and the timeout is one minute so let's open a new tab in our browser and then let's paste the url let's let's hit enter there you go hello from firebase and that's how you create a firebase function and it's so easy so you can use Firebase function to create RS API for your web application and like a cron job, you can also create a cron job using Firebase function. And then if you want to change this, let's say hello from Firebase, we can just change it to hello our name, hello tech trappy. Let's go back to our project and let's in our file and then let's change this to hello tech preppy. So this is now our response. Click save and now if you want to deploy it or redeploy it, just go to our terminal. You can just type Firebase deploy and then that's how easy it is. Let's click Firebase deploy. As you can see, it still says version one and then we now have two requests because that's how we request before and then let's go back to our url and then it's either we refresh it or hit enter let's hit enter all right now it's showing hello tech preppy and that's it for our firebase function tutorial we hope you found it informative and helpful in learning how to create your own serverless function using firebase with the power of Firebase function at your fingertips, you can build complex functions to handle various tasks such as creating REST API, creating a cron job for your Firebase uh, database, and take your development skill to the next level. Remember to keep practicing and experimenting with your code to continue your growth as a developer. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to TechPrappy for more related insights. Thank you for watching. Bye.